Assalamu alaikum, dear students. How are you? I hope you are doing well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Today, I am here with a new topic. Can you tell me the name of the topic? Okay. The name of the topic is Tag Question. At first, you may have a question. What is Tag Question? We use question tag after any statement. To ask for confirmation, we mainly add an interrogative fragment after any statement. The statement can be declarative or imperative. In the interrogative fragment, we use the pronoun of the subject after verb. For example, he has solved the problem, hasn't he? Another example is, they are playing cricket, aren't they? Here you can see I have used an interrogative fragment after the statements. When a statement is positive, we have to write negative question. When the statement is negative, we have to write positive question. Let's see the examples. You can see he has made a noise, hasn't he? Here the statement is positive and we have used negative questions. Another example is, he cannot play cricket. Can he? Here the statement is negative. That's why we have written positive question. If you find that there is no auxiliary verb in a sentence, you have to write don't or doesn't or didn't in the question fragment. If the statement is in present tense, you have to write don't or doesn't according to the subject of the question part. If the statement is in past tense, you have to write didn't. Let's see some examples. You can see, they like me, don't they? Here the statement is in present tense. Another example is, the moon shines at night, doesn't it? Okay, it is also in present tense. If you say, my father supported me, didn't he? Here, the statement is in past tense. That's why I have written didn't. If everyone or everybody, no one or nobody, none or nobody is a subject of a statement, we have to use they as a pronoun in the question fragment. For example, every mother loves a child. Don't they? Okay. Uh, in this statement part, you can see S or yes, but here we did not use S or yes in the question fragment. Why? Because you cannot use doesn't with they. So that's why we have written don't they. Another example is nobody believes a liar. Do they? Here, there is a pronoun of the subject, nobody. And, okay, so, uh, we have written do, because we cannot write does after they. As they is plural, we have to write do. When everything or anything or something or nothing is a subject of a statement, we have to use it as a pronoun of these words in the fragment part. Okay, let's talk about some examples. Here you can see everything is clear. Is it? Okay, so uh, it is a pronoun of everything. Nothing is certain. Is it? Here it is a pronoun of the word nothing. 